Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do this video to show you what I typically eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and kind of just what a normal day in the life of a vegan looks like. So let's get into it. For breakfast lately, I've been loving acai bowls. They've just been like my go-to. So I just mix frozen fruit and coconut milk and these acai berry packets. They come frozen. They're by this brand, Samazon and I just mix it in with banana too. So these packets are super convenient. They come in these single serve packets that you just pop in the freezer and then each time you make a smoothie, you can um, take one of those out. They are organic and they are non-GMO as well for anyone wondering. So I just left this out for like 10 minutes to defrost a tiny bit. You just cut open the top, put that into the Nutribullet and then I'm pouring in frozen mangoes, blueberries, bananas, coconut milk, just blending that all up and then you'll have a nice acai bowl. While I was filming this, I actually made the mistake of putting in a little bit too much coconut milk for my liking, um, which made it a little bit more soupy, which makes it hard to put the toppings on. So just don't put too much milk in there if you want it like a thicker consistency. So I just poured it out into a bowl and then topped it with some banana, chia seeds, hemp seeds, black seeds, and some frozen kiwi. Acai berries are really, really good for you. They're a fruit that's low in sugar and they're packed with antioxidants. They have resveratrol in there, so they're really good at fighting free radicals and keeping your skin glowing and nice and pretty and wrinkle free, which I love. Um, so they're it's just a really awesome breakfast to have. Now for lunch, I love me a yummy vegan chickpea tuna wrap. I actually have a video showing exactly how to make this vegan chickpea tuna, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but here are all of the basic ingredients. It is super, super easy to make. You just mix everything up into a food processor, and that is it. Couldn't get any easier than that, right? So I will link below to the other videos so that you can see all the exact measurements and ingredients and all that good stuff. But yeah, super simple and amazingly delicious lunch it's so good you guys like you just try it you just have to try it so now in a frying pan i'm just heating up one of these rudy's gluten-free spinach tortillas just to make it a little bit more pliable to make it easier to wrap and then i'm putting down some lettuce the chickpea tuna and these follow your heart pepper jack slices you guys if you have not had these you have not had vegan cheese they are so damn good and then i just paired it with a little side salad with some avocado on top and some chickpea what do you call these um chickpea crisps i guess you call them i don't know but those are really good too now if i get a little hungry in between lunch and dinner my go-to is peanut butter and a lot of times i'll just eat it right off the spoon but for the sake of the video and i mean i do also eat it with celery a lot of times but i will just put it on top of celery and i'm making like a version of ants on a log but instead of uh, raisins, I'm using cacao nibs. Now for dinner, I'll be making this Greek style rice, which is my absolute favorite. And I found this short grain sweet rice at Whole Foods in the bulk section, which actually worked out really, really well for this recipe. So I'm just going to start out making the rice and cooking that for a while. So I'm doing one part rice to two parts veggie stock. And I actually came up with this recipe one night when I really had a craving for grape leaves and I was just too lazy to make them because they take a really long time. So I just made a rice that had like all the same flavors that Domas typically have. So it ended up coming out super yummy and it's now one of my favorite recipes to make. So, so you just want to let that rice cook up. It takes about 45 minutes. So while that is cooking, we can work on the vegan tzatziki sauce. Now it has a coconut milk base, and what I do is put the coconut can in the refrigerator, and then it separates the solid and the liquid, so you're able to scoop out all of that solid part to make the tzatziki, and then the coconut water that you're left with, you can just put that aside or refrigerate it and use it for a smoothie later on. So it's super simple to make. To the solid part of the coconut milk, you're just gonna add lemon zest, lemon juice, 
a bunch of fresh herbs which make it really really yummy and then just a little bit of salt and pepper so I'm using a big big bunch of dill right here I love dill in this recipe you can see I'll add so much dill and so much lemon to everything and then you can just go ahead and mash everything up with a fork until it is nice and creamy and smooth and that's it you're done with your vegan tzatziki and you guys I think will be surprised at how good this tastes and how similar it actually tastes like tzatziki and how you don't really taste even the coconut too much so once your rice is just about done maybe it still has like five or ten minutes to go you're going to want to just stir it up and this is the time to add more liquid if necessary. And then I like to add in the dill now and some lemon juice, salt, and pepper, and then just let that finish cooking to kind of incorporate all of the flavors. And while the rice is finishing up, I like to take that time to prepare the garnishes that I like to put on top to make it all pretty. So I'm just slicing up some cherry tomatoes here, and then I love putting in some Kalamata olives as well to really give it that Greek flavor. So once the rice is done, I just like to put it into a big bowl and then top it with my pretty garnishes. Don't you guys feel like putting pretty things, making your food pretty, just makes it taste so much better? I do. And of course, then it makes for a nice Instagram. <laughs> I'm just putting a big bunch of parsley in the middle and then of course topping it with the tzatziki sauce that we made. You guys, this recipe is honestly one of my favorites and it was like a mistake that I even came up with it kind of, or I guess not a mistake but just uh, a product of me being too lazy to make what I really wanted. If you guys don't like lemon or dill, you may not love, love this recipe, um, but if you do, I really highly recommend to try it out because it is so delicious. And of course, all of the exact measurements and everything I will be posting on my blog, so head over there to check it out if you are interested in making the recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.